Hi guys, I'm Dark. And since childhood, I've lived in the shadow of my famous twin brother, Light. We're twins, but it's hard to imagine two people as different as we are. Light likes to be the center of attention. And I'm an introvert. When we were kids, Light climbed onto the table and sang, pretending his spoon was a microphone. Our parents took his talent very seriously. So he visited every possible talent contest in the country. As the years went by, Light's fame grew extensively. Our parents turned into glamorous producers. Meanwhile, I turned into the family Cinderella. I was responsible for all household duties because they traveled a lot. Light was far from an excellent student. But everyone at school loved him and craved his attention. One day, he failed a math test, but the teacher said she would give him an A+, if he posted their selfie on his Instagram. Light seemed to be Mr. Perfect. But in fact, he's been suffering from bipolar disorder since childhood. Early fame and a busy concert schedule made his issues even worse. His fans weren't aware, of course. When the depression phase consumed Light, he could lay in beds for days. He was feeling pessimistic about every single thing and cried a lot. I had to do all Light's homework in those periods and find the time to support him. I was the only person he could stand in this phase. Our parents preferred to stay in denial about Light's issue. When he felt depressed, they just said, Get yourself together. You don't want to let so many people down. Light has never even tried to stand for himself. One day, I lost my patience and told them, it's hard to be a high school student and a famous singer at the same time. My mother's reply was, quote, You're just jealous that your brother is famous and you're not. Stop huh? being so selfish. But real struggles began during manic phases. Light turned into a hyperactive guy and got into all sorts of trouble. It was my job to help him out because Light was too afraid to disappoint our parents. One night, his message woke me up. Light sent me his geolocation and asked me to pick him up from a party. When I got there, I found him locked in the trunk of some crazy fangirl. Ah. Another time, Light called me from a beach. Some fans stole all of his clothes and phone while he was swimming. He had to put a rubber ring on. When we celebrated our 16th birthday, our parents ordered a huge cake. But it said, Happy Birthday Light. I asked, Did you forget anyone? Dad replied, the cake should look good on Light's social media because the 16th birthday happens only once in a lifetime. Once, Light had to attend an important press conference to advertise his future concert. On the eve of this event, I found him crying on the floor. He begged me to go instead of him and pretend to be Light. I didn't like that idea, but Light looked very sad. So I said, Okay, but only if you promise me that we will talk to our parents and make them take your mental issues seriously. Light hugged me and agreed. The conference was a nightmare, especially for an introvert like me. Fans asked all sorts of silly questions. They wanted to know Light's favorite shampoo, color, and even the size of his socks. Suddenly, a fangirl climbed on the stage and began to hug me. The guards tried to drag that girl away from me, but then a huge crowd of fans followed her example. Each tried to tear off a piece of me. I ran away, but the crowd followed me. I was ready to be trampled. But then some gloomy girl put her hand on my shoulder and whispered, Hurry up, get in the box, I'll get you out of here. I jumped into a huge box with some lighting gadgets. The box was on wheels, so she took me out of the building easily. In the street, she opened the box. Finally, I saw her face and it was very pretty. She turned to leave, but I invited her to hang out. She agreed and said, Well, okay. I'm creepy, by the way. I forgot I was playing light and replied, and I'm dark. She laughed and said that my name was too famous for such pranks. We had a perfect walk in the cemetery. And then she took me to her favorite restaurant. They served a cake that looked like a human brain. So cool. I know it's not fair, but I decided not to confess that I pretended to be light. Creepy was my soulmate, and I felt it right away. I'd never been so happy in my entire life. I didn't want to disappoint her. I walked Creepy to her house. 
There was an awkward pause. She caught my eye for a moment, and I quickly looked away. I gathered up the courage and kissed her. Creepy snuggled up to me and said, Oh, what? I jumped away from her, casually said goodbye, and went home. Huh? I totally forgot that Light had been waiting for me at home for a long time. But when I came home, he began to yell at me. Paparazzi took a bunch of pictures of me and Creepy. Fangirls trumpeted all over the internet about Light's new mysterious girlfriend. Light accused me of being jealous of him and called me a miserable loser. To be honest, I was crushed by his ingratitude after all the things we've gone through together. I just went to my room and locked the door in silence. For the following month, I kept on secretly dating Creepy, still pretending to be Light. I brought her to the quietest places to stay away from Light's fans. One day we had to hide behind a huge trash can, but Creepy called that location authentic. She's so sweet. But eventually someone still licked our pictures. Junk media reposted them with silly headlines and awful memes. Light and I were at odds and didn't talk to each other. He was furious and decided to take revenge. He took pictures with some glamorous model pretending that she was his new girlfriend. I rushed to Creepy's house. She opened the door. Huh? Oh. Huh? Oh. And show me the pictures right away. Creepy asked. Who is she? I didn't know you had a girlfriend. I was so stupid. You used quiet places for dates because you didn't want to show the world your dirty little secret. She was crying. I opened my mouth to tell her that I'm not light. But I chicken out. I couldn't believe that she would accept me as dark. So Creepy just kicked me out and blocked me everywhere. Aww. I went home alone. I had no idea that I was capable of feeling so much pain. Suddenly, I noticed the paparazzi following me. So I decided to prank him. I stole an ice cream van. And I'm not proud of it. In fact, I didn't have to because the seller was Light's van. He just gave away the van with a silly smile because he thought I was Light. In a blink of an eye, this picture appeared in all tabloids. But I still wanted to get back at light. I put on a Sailor Moon cosplay costume and made an official statement that my new name was Sailor Light. After that, the captain of school football team even made ice at light in the locker room. The fans and press were shocked. As well as our parents. As for Light, he pretended that I didn't exist. Parents grounded me. The following day, Light was having an epic concert and they forbade me to go. I was sitting alone in our room. I felt bored and very angry. So I began to kick Light's stuff. Then I scrolled my Instagram feed and saw our parents chilling on the beach. Those bastards went on vacation instead of supporting Light. My brother is just a sensitive teenager and he's all alone out there. I noticed a picture frame that I kicked from the desk before and picked it up. These two little cuties made me realize that my grounding would wait. So I hurried to the gig. Light was on the stage, but he looked very anxious and was singing off key. Suddenly, he dropped his microphone and ran backstage. I followed him to the dressing room. When Light saw me, he said, Hey bro, I guess you're the only person who's always there for me no matter what. Aww, that was so touching. We cried and hugged. Then Light added, It's not fair that you've been in the shadow for so long. You should sing with me today. Although I wasn't that skillful, we sang pretty well. The crowd was delighted to see two unicorns. Suddenly, I noticed Creepy in the crowd. I invited her to the stage and she didn't mind. After the show, we explained ourselves and Creepy forgave me. She says she liked me in my natural dark outfit much more. <laughs> Meanwhile, our parents came up with a business plan to promote our new music band. But Light finally got the courage to say no. He refused to follow such a tough schedule and began to experiment with style. As for me, I'm just glad that everyone's honest and happy now.